Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar series. We are here, level one of the Abyss, and we are ready to climb down this ladder and see what level two has in store for us. So, without further ado, let's make that happen. We're going to descend to level two, which thus far... <laughs> It's pretty unremarkable. All right, as is our usual thing. Oh, okay, okay. So this is another one of those things where it is uh, repeating. Now, it's interesting is we have a down ladder there, but we've also got the onks. I'm curious what that means. And I don't remember offhand what the map icons mean. Oh, those mean force fields. I went and looked. I, I made a, a, a cheat sheet of map icons from when we were in the dungeon. And those mean force fields. So I guess we got to check out the onks and then we can take the down arrow. And then this is just going to be one of those repeating maps. Um, so the best way to get. I mean, I think it says one, two, three. If we go. Across, I think it's the same. It doesn't matter whether we go across or we go down. Um, we're going to have basically the same same number. We got to get through five of these rooms, four of these rooms, four rooms. I think that's what we had in level one is with groups of four. So, And then we'll have a bunch of the spell, spells to deal with. So I guess we'll worry about getting through actually maybe i should look right now before we get too deep okay so let's um so we got 25 dispels i think we're probably okay i might make a few more uh looking at that map we would have to do seven if we want to visit both onks i don't know if we need to but i guess we probably will and we'll see how many we have to use in these combat rooms time will tell Okay, so I'll just, am I doing okay? I want to heal. So I got 33 heals. I haven't used any of my cures. All right, we're in good shape. We are in good shape. All right, so um, we go south, we go east. I think we'll go east. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, that's nice. Get some people moving through here. Um... Again, we'll probably as we get lined up, we will attack like that. But other than that, we're just going to be um, making tracks to get across the room, I think. At least that's my plan. Um, now, you'll see I could go out to the west or I could go down. I don't know that there's any particular um, reason to want to go into the center um, room I, I, without any specific intelligence saying, hey, you should go into the center center room. I don't think I'm going to uh, be doing that. I will um, I'm just going to skip you for a moment. You can go on in. You can come up here. All right. Go on, Katrina. Miss, that's not ideal. Oh, that guy is moving down there in the bottom. All right. Guy on top's only lately wounded. So far. Of course, we get Julia and Ilo Iola with the mist train there. Okay, well... He, he juked and jived. So now they're not lined up. He's heavily wounded now. Now he's fleeing. Well, I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck with that, sir. Given that we've got all your potential escape routes covered, in theory. I should have Katrina get out of here. There we go. All right, let's, whoops. 
get her out. All right. And get them out. Lightly wounded. I didn't want to do that. Now he's fleeing. Sienna, that was your big, big opportunity. There we go. Very nice. Ugh. I'm just messing up all the movements now. Trying to skip me and let these guys go first. Okay. Not too surprising. More the same. That was nice. Uh, I'm going to give the melee peeps an opportunity to go do some do some fighting. Um, I guess we could do that. All right. He's heavily wounded already. If he comes at you, Joffrey, probably shouldn't take too much of a hit. Kind of like that. How dare you? And now he's gone. All right, so let's move out. I was going to let Katrina get up there and uh, try her hand at uh, taking that guy out, but um, he moved. He's still moving. All right. Joffrey, maybe if you want, you can go try to take out on that, that one serpent there by the exit. The rest of you can start moving that direction. He, if he didn't get killed that time, then I was just gonna, then I was just gonna say, just leave him alone. Oh, the guy moved. How dare you move? Well, Iolo, in theory, could get him. Again, I say in theory. All right, I'm just gonna get you out of here, Joffrey. Because if he's not going to... And I'm probably just going to get you out of here, Iolo. Because I've had enough. You're missing. We'll just kind of do the conga line of who can hit this serpent. Lightly wounded. I might let... No. I was going to say, I might let Katrina go and line up with him, but the way he's going. All right, everybody stay put because I don't know if this guy is gonna, you know, juke it another way. So we'll. All right, he's heavily wounded. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Stepped right in front of that. Right in front of that beam. All right, everybody out of the pool. So we have got two more to go down. And then we can get out. Oh, look at this. We got hydras and more of these uh, serpents. So that's all right. Hydras aren't super strong, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, they're not super strong. 
Let's see, you're not loading up on anything. Actually, you could be. Good job, Joffrey. That was a nice hit. Trying to get Katrina over there so she can do battle, get a little XP. For all the, you know, for all that matters, it's not like we can level up here in the abyss. All right, still lightly wounded. That's Joffrey. Katrina. Oh, now he's fleeing. Good hit. And that guy's heavily wounded. And he's gone. All right, good. Um, okay, and we want to head south out of here. And I'm not saying that because you don't know it. <laughs> I'm saying that because I don't know it. Um, all right, that guy's gone. So I just got to remind myself which direction we're going. So, all right, everybody head to the south. So, you know, we had... Yeah, I, I'm noticing that each of these little clusters of combat rooms, they've got their own design aesthetic. So the first set on level one, we had... Uh, the lava on everything and then we had the force fields for the second set force fields and demons and now for this one obviously it's water and uh, serpents with other reptilian friends <laughs> Alright guys, time to take this guy out, or both of them. Oh, Katrina, that was your big opportunity there. Keep up with Joffrey. I was going to say he one-shot him, but I'm not quite certain that's accurate. Because I wasn't paying close enough attention to say that that was the first time he ever shot him. Or that somebody didn't damage him. Wow, this guy is tricksy. He's critical, so that was a good hit. Yeah, okay. I kind of wish that the, the XP was shared. You know? Between everybody that touched it. But this is 1984, after all, and they hadn't gotten there yet. Because like a lot of video games, if you take part in battling somebody, even if you're not the one that did the final takedown, you get XP for it. And here, it's not that way. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I am going to cast a negate. Because we've got our old nemesis, the Balrons, which I rather expected. Joffrey, take care of that Nixie, would you please? And let's get these Balrons dead. Well, that one's already critical. That's beautiful. Oh, I don't know why I didn't have you guys attack. You're lined up with the demons. And you promptly missed. All right. Beautiful. Whoops, I should have had you attack. That's that's on me, my bad, Joffrey. All right, come on, Iolo. Oh, jeez. There we go. Maybe get some I Iolo some glasses or something. There we go. Nice one hit on the Nixie, I think. I think it was one hit. All right. One last bow run. He's, he's still this lightly wounded. He's got a lot of hit points left. All right. So those of us that can attack will. And then those of us who can't. Oh, no, he's critical. 
That was a good hit. Good job, Katrina. The rest of us will be moving down. There we go. I'm not going to worry about the squiddy and the serpent, I don't think. Let's just get out of dodge, I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's not very nice. Right, so. Let's get the people that... Let's get the people out of here. We're going to go to the east. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to go through the east. All right, that's one out. Again, I'll let Jana kind of get in the middle of the conga line here a little bit. Oh, boy, I messed that up. I don't know why I hit down. Eh, you missed. Okay, so here we are. So let's bring the notes back up again. So we are now about here. And we're going to go up here. We should see a down air ladder. But first we are going to go through here. Um, I am not certain. I might have to do a dispel while I'm inside the secret doorway. I don't know what kind of these are. If they're poison or what. Yeah, so I'll probably have to do a dispel while I'm inside the secret secret door here. Uh, but that's what we're going to try to do. I might hold up and camp. See if we can just before we get there. Whoops. That's back the way we came. We'll go north. Right, so there's the ladder down. Let's hold up and camp. See if we've had enough time pass that we can actually get some health back. Okay, nice. I think everybody's full health but me. Excellent. First time we've been full health in like two... Uh... <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not right there. It's got, I think I'll go over one more. All right. Ah, it was poison. It was poison. I'm glad, and I'm glad I did it in there. Oh, we got to fight bats. That's horrible. Not really. All right. And I wonder how bats are living in poison, but you know, whatever. Teeth are on. Oh, that's Katrina. By the way, talking about how Katrina almost died last episode, I understand what happened. Um, that the red stuff was from the um, was from the flaming oil, and um, she was standing a fire because I threw one of them and I said range zero um, I was actually lying in bed and thinking about it and I realized that's why we'd never seen demons throw fire before because they didn't uh, so uh, the spell okay All right, use stone. As thou doth approach, a voice rings out, What virtue doth stem from love? Now, I do know how things work in this game. And I kind of wonder if it is going to take us step by step through the virtues. I'm kind of thinking like it might be. In which case, we probably have eight levels, which makes sense. Um, that's usually the depth of the dungeons, too. So I think that makes sense. So one virtue that could stem from love is the second one. 
And that's what I'm going to go with. And that is compassion. Use thy stone. Okay, so uh, compassion was the opposite of despise, which was the yellow stone. Okay, and it turns into another, another down. Hmm. Now I am curious. All right, we got to kill the slimes. I'm curious if I go and if I go and to the other side and spend the uh, the spells to get there, is it just going to be the same thing? That's what I'm not certain. Do I ignore it or do I continue on? And I'm wondering, I'm thinking it's probably better to use these than to, oh, cast on it, than to use the ones that are, um, uh, that are out in the hallway because I'm wondering if these leave me someplace better. You know what? We can always come back up it. We're going to go down this one. If like we don't see a way then um uh, then yeah maybe we'll go back up and we'll we'll get rid of the um the other poison fields and go to the other one you know what just because i'm curious if i peer to jam again it's still showing the onk there okay i was curious if it still showed the onk all right oh haven't cast a light spell I should have one of the other people do it. That can't that can't take very much. Okay, so we are here in level three. Let's peer to gem again. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got force fields. We got a ladder up. And I don't know what the point of the force fields are there. Um really what we want to do is go through the two combat rooms to the onk. Uh, I guess if we decide we want to come back, we may need to to deal with that. I don't know. I don't. I doubt it. It's a nice small level. I'm kind of wondering. Let's go look at the notes. You know, I'm kind of wondering here: is are we going to see like a lot of the different um, types of dungeons as far as the layouts that we saw? I mean, we had some they weren't necessarily in a square, but they were kind of you know, close together. They weren't very big levels. And then we certainly had, I think it was the spies, you know, that had these repeating pattern things. And then a lot of them were, were just kind of like an intermediate thing like this. So I guess that'll be interesting to see as we continue to move through, you know, what does, does the topography of each level change? But what we're going to do is we're going to go south we're going to go through the two, we'll go into the combat room, and then we will um, leave that to the west, into the second combat room, leave that for the west, and get to the Ankh that way. And that should get us down to level four, where we, you know, assuming that we're going to have eight levels, which I'm feeling pretty confident about right now, that should get us halfway there. So, let's see if we can at least get to level four today. So, we're going to head south. Once again, does it matter? No, I don't think so. Um, but that's how we're going to go. Not what I was expecting. Although we did have this, I think in our last dungeon where we had a we had a passage that was just empty. Uh, <laughs> I wondered. I did. And I have a feeling it's because I am where I am. I am right in the middle. Um, but none of these are Balrons. So I'm not stressing. All right. But they also, thus far, are 
are not attacking us. Whoops. Sorry, Joffrey, you can't do that. So I don't know if these are... I mean, they're not attacking us. And we don't seem to be able to hit them. Well, Joffrey, you can't hit anything. You're too far back. I look at hit the broad set of a barn. All right. I think we are going to ignore them. Because I don't think they have any... I don't know what they mean. I don't know why they're why they would show up and then not do battle unless they're going to wait until I'm in here alone alone and then I'll come to life and I'm going to have to fight them by myself. I doubt that personally. All right. I wonder if we'll have something similar happen here. Yeah, these guys are trapped. These guys are trapped, so we can just mosey our way through. Yeah, and I don't see any secret walls or anything here. Again, a totally different design here. Brick walls, you know. Oh. Okay. These guys are now out. And now they're fighting. Okay, so these guys... Oh, we have multiples stacked on top of each other. Methinks. Let's get some people in a place where they can fight. Yeah, we've got multiples of these guys. So we just won't let them get out. And that way they are constrained in what they can do. Everybody's looking good from a health perspective. Oh, good. Another one down. Part of me does wonder if these are going to be... We'll, we'll, we'll do this for a bit. But... Are we going to get to a point where these are like endless? In which case, then we'll just have to make as good an exit as we can. Why are we missing all of a sudden? Okay. Not surprising, Joffrey. Oops. And Katrina are bearing the brunt of it. Okay. Heavily wounded. Yeah, how many of these things are there? Barely wounded. Okay, so we may, on the top, we may have reached the end. Oh, okay, so there is an end. We just had a lot of demons stacked up on top of each other. Thank God they didn't have a Bauron hidden underneath. That would be evil. In all honesty, that's something I would do. <laughs> if I was deciding a level, I would have stacked, you know, 10 or so demons on top of each other and put one Bauron at the bottom so that it would cast everybody to sleep and I wouldn't be expecting it. All right, Joffrey, I think you can probably head to the exit. Well, you should have attacked, Iolo. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Jennifer, you go. Katrina, you gotta wait. Everybody else, attack to the south. You can come up. Okay. Oh, dear God, ILO. Okay. You know what, Iolo? You can just go with Joffrey. There we go. All right. We're ready to get out of here. That was interesting. I'm wondering if we missed a button someplace on the previous level. Not that I really care all that much, but that would have made those uh, demons start attacking us. But eh, that's all right. I mean, we've killed a lot of demons here in the abyss. And uh, not that I don't like killing demons, but you know, we don't have to kill every demon, do we? All right, everybody out. This should lead us to the room with the Ankh. And here we have that so we want to use a stone if I can spell it as thou doth approach a voice rings out what virtue doth stem from courage well as luck would have it um, the number three virtue is valor which would also stem from courage Use thy stone. So valor was from the starred, which was red. Okay, so we want to type in red and bloop. There we go. The altar changes before thine eyes. What could be easier? All right, so let's, um, we're on level three. Let's descend to level four. Another little box. Let's peer to gem. Okay, another one of these ones that have no end from the looks of things. All right, we are going to go through the secret door to the east and go into the um, corridor there and get to the end of it. Uh, I don't know what the point of the four combat rooms to the south is. They don't seem to lead anywhere. I don't think I want to risk it right now. I want to get to the, uh, just before the other passageway of secret, secret doors, secret passage. And we'll peer to gem again and see if we see any more off to the, uh, off to the east here. So I want to go eastwards. Now, how do I want to go? Oh. I'm like, there's no door. Yeah, because it's a secret passage. All right, so we're going to cross over here. We're going to peer to gem. And there's the Ankh. Through another couple of combat rooms. All right. All right. So we got to go in here. Up, up, up. Out. All right, I've... I forgot to uh, really take stock of where I'm at. Okay, so we want to go straight across, and then we got a force field, and then we got two combat rooms, and we'll be at the next stairs. And we got these slimes we got to deal with. Uh, Katrina, I'm just going to move you out of the way, so I'm not thinking that you're going to be... You know what, Julia, you come in here. Show me that you're better than Iolo. All right. Ooh, that one's gone already. Get out of the way there, Joffrey. Good. Oh, interesting. It's not a poison. So. Um... All 
Okay, so combat rooms. We're going to go in this and we need to leave to the north. Ooh, interesting. All spookyified and black. And also very twisty windy. You know, basically this passage looks like your stomach. <laughs> all right, you come down here. Is all of this because there was a, a, a tile there that wasn't, didn't look like a floor tile. And then we shot a ghost and it was a floor tile. And so is, is being on the f floor tile or, you know, is this whole one big thing of floor tiles or is the black death? I guess is what I'm trying to come come up with. All right, none of you, the rest of y'all can really do much of anything at this point. Well, you could have you could have done things. I do think we're gonna have to take everybody out because they're just keying in on us, and we're missing. But so are they. Uh, the litz is critical. There's a ghost down. Another one. Another one. Oh, good job, Iolo. That was a good hit. Took care of the, the litch. We're just down to a few little ghosty woasties. All right, good. Strains of mist noise. All right, you two can come out. We're going to stick to the path as given to us. Wow. Whoops, Joffrey. All right, maybe we can't get this guy where he's at for some reason. We just seem to be missing him like crazy. I'm missing him. Everybody's missing this guy. I'm going to try my next turn just for chucks cast the fireball nice I wonder if for some reason oh, sorry Katrina our um, you know because I'd heard that that you were only supposed to be able to use, use mystic weapons in the abyss and we only have two people with mystic swords. The rest of us are magic. Well, I'm I'm mad. Well, I'm not sure my magic staff is working either. But my fireballs obviously do do work. Um, but the the magic bows were not seeming to be effective. So that's concerning. We're not even halfway through this thing. Well, I guess we are. This is halfway. We're in level four. All right. I do not want to take. 
to make a mistake here and have somebody step off the path and then like die because they fell into a chasm or some BS like that. So I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, I think mean, everybody can just move northward now. Northward? Is that how we want to go? Yeah, yeah, yes, we want to go north. Get into the last room, last combat room until we reach. Okay. Oh, wow, there is a lot going on here. All right. I think this is an excellent point. Nice. Got rid of a demon. And uh, so that was that was pretty nice. Um, hmm. I don't want these gremlins to steal all our food. But um, and we probably need to hole up and camp uh, at some point here soon. Dupree, you can't do anything. You can come out. You can come out. You can come out. You can come out. And I'm going to cast Tremor again. Okay, well. Oh, come on. Um, well, you don't want to go that way. You can go that way. Is that a fountain? Or is that water there on the right? We've never found a fountain in a combat room. I shouldn't have had Katrina move up like that. We should have stayed put and then that way she could. Yep, there they go, stealing our food, you little rat bastards. Uh, you can come back down. Because that way, if that guy's going to come out, we've got people that can help. All right. Yeah, like that. Boom. All right. You're going up. Um, we're just going to leave this little trio of people here for right now. I'm going to have other peoples wind their way through these passageways until we get the rest of these guys dead, especially the, the gremlins. I'm not really so worried about the gazers, although I think they have a limited effect sleep spell, but they're only really going to be able to do that if, if they are right in front of you. Um, It's going to be, you know, but just because of how can, oh, that guy, that guy escaped. Interesting. All right. I think the people I have worming their way up these passages, I'm just going to get them out of here. And maybe I'll send, no, we'll just wait. He's coming to us. Patience is a virtue, as I'm told. I don't live it, <laughs> which is why I'm told, <laughs> but we'll wait. He'll come to us. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. And then three of us just like that. Easy as pie. All right. Get on out of here. This is, oh, uh, hate it when I make a mistake like that. This is an interesting room. I should just be looking real fast. I wouldn't expect there to be any secret rooms. It doesn't look like there is. I don't, but anytime I'm in, I'm in this brickwork, I'm always like, ooh, is there a secret room someplace? And uh, yeah, no. All right.
Okay, here we are. So use stone. Boy. All right. What virtue doth stem from truth and love? Oh, it's getting harder now. But truth and love and the fourth virtue is justice. Justice. Use thy stone. So the stone for justice, which we got in Dungeon Wrong, was green. So let's type in green. The altar changes before thine eyes. Excellent. So let's let's actually hold up in camp. We're no nobody's really in super bad shape um, health wise. Uh, but you know, if we can get, I might be able to get the full. Uh, well, Katrina's not quite at full health. That's the only one. And you know what? I might just give her a heal just because she's one of the people up front there. Now she's at full health. I was probably a little wasteful, but whatever. She's she's kind of up there being the tank a little bit. All right, let's descend and just see what we got. Oh, this looks interesting. Let's peer to gem. All right, so we got fountains, and then we got combat rooms, and then we have onx. And I don't know if we're going to have anything else. Uh, we'll have to probably peer again when we get down in front of the combat rooms. But that's where I think I am going to leave it for today. We're going to, I don't know about the fountains. I'm a little leery of the fountains, in all honesty. Um... And we're at full health now. We don't really need them. So I probably won't. But I, I'm, I'm thinking that fountains in the abyss are probably not to be trusted after what we saw on uh, level one. But we made it a good chunk of the way through here. I'm, I'm surprised. I am not really surprised. But yeah, I don't know if the going is going to get harder. We will see. But uh, we will continue on with level five and beyond next time. But thanks for uh, joining me and do come back for the next one. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's only eight levels so that we've got four to go. We're at the halfway point. So who knows? Maybe next episode we'll be done with level of, with the abyss. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Weird things can happen. But thanks for joining me. Please come back for next one. And until then, be seeing you.